the uh, home side for this evening's encounter, Legon City is coming into this game. Legon Cities have not fared too badly this uh, season. And of course, we're looking at teams that are back to back in terms of positions on the uh, league table, mid table uh, zone. And uh, three points would be good enough for both sides, especially Bechem United, as they come seeking for three points away from home. I must tell you, however, that Bechem United's away record is not the best. In fact, it's one of the worst that we've seen in the uh, Premiership. And we'll be telling you a lot more about that as the game uh, goes on. Like Jude, a champ rightly told you, we're going to be seeing some faces that were not in the team previously. But this match is going to be handled by Bismarck Apia, the centre referee, Francis Bonzi, and Halilu Al Hassan by Dena will be the two assistant referees with Mubarak Musa Paridavwa as the fourth official. Well, Legon City will be starting this game on the 10th position and they know a win here will make them safe in the Ghana Premier League and they will be bouncing back from a horrible torrid time that they have three losses in a row. They have not gone through such a torrid time in the Ghana Premier League this season. But Bechem United, they also start this game on the 11th position on the Ghana Premier League log and they know a point here will also do them good because just after this game they play against the mighty Kumasi Santi Koroko. But away we go, the match is off and the Legon Cities are playing from left to right as you're watching the blue and the red outfit. There they come forward. This is the first opportunity for Bechem United but the flag is already up. There you have it. Carefully swung in cross there. No worries for Prince Asempa. Ball brought down nicely. Shot from a distance. What a goal. What a goal. By all standards, that was a goal with class. Well, this is a super goal from Jonah Tukwe. A long pass from Nasir Moro. And the control was expert at the finish. Fantastic. Super goal from Jonah Tukwe, the former Brekup Chelsea player. You see that long pass from Nasiru. And the Chester, the control was expert, but the finish, wonderful. As they come forward, cross into the 18 yard box. Victoriana de Bayo is there. Safe catch this time by Asempa. Lovely chest and turn by uh, the man who got the goal, Atukwe. Ampedu lays on the pass. And they buy a Victorian. That was close against the bar. Game is still in play though, but the referee's whistle has already gone. Nicely done by Adebayo. Prince Asempa is committed. And he comes to the rescue. That's a very poor kick from uh, Prince Asempa. Nearly paid for it. Nearly paid for it. And Wahid knows that it could have been a goal. He's such an experienced player. Referee has taken a look at his watch once. And I think that's it for the end of the uh, first half. Quite a good encounter. End-to-end -end action. Legon Cities have their noses in front. Well, this obviously means one thing, that Amankuna is going to be doing most of the running on the uh, right-hand side of attack as Legon City's get us underway for the second half. Bechem United are playing from uh, left to right in the uh, lemon green. But I guess the icing on the cake was that hooping 5-2 drubbing of Ashanti goal. That trip from behind, not that intentional. Not too sure whether the card is going to come out for this, but Anor went down. And I know he's telling the referee he's the last man. It was that long pass. And he might not know with that blistering pace. And oh. Nicolas Menson had the better. That notch from Nicolas Menson. Yeah. Not the best. It's going to be a left footed swing. All right. There you go. And he started it all. He's ended it all. I belong to Jesus. Okay, so do we all. This time around, Emmanuel Santis free kick, well taken, and look at the young chap, Emmanuel Anor, his third goal of the season for Bechem United. Brilliant free kick, and that was the header. And that's the pressing you were talking about earlier on, and not running hard to that ball. As Senpai is out again, this time he gets a save head, and takes a kick in the chest, I think, from Jonah Tukui. See, look at Asempa here. His judgment was spot on. And he took a boot from Jonah Tukwe. Isaka now 
to Hans Kofi. Hans could score from there, lays on the pass. Entry comes out. And so did Sylvester. They are the team that could determine which team stays in the Ghana Premier League. Anywhere would do for now. Sylvester under some amount of pressure. Ball goes out and not goes down in the process in a hitch to get the ball for the throw in. And I love Arnaud for one thing, his pressing. And there's trouble for Arnaud here. There's trouble for Arnaud here. He's off. He is off. This is his second yellow card. Second yellow card, and I guess it was for decent. If you remember, he was shown the yellow card earlier on for delaying in getting the game underway. And the ball went out into touch. He was waiting for a colleague to come for the ball. That has been judged to be delayance as well. Even I know, should it have gotten himself booked? He was And it's another yellow, uh, yeah, for yellow and red card simultaneously to captain Michael Ampedu. We've had a very good game here today. There's a sad way it's ending this way. Referee Bismarck Apia has taken a look at his watch as uh, Legon City's lay siege in the 18 yard box of Bicham United. Crosses on, but good recovery again from Abdullah. Great play from Rich, Richmond MG. Captain of Bicham United seems elated. And he believes that one point is good. We've seen 90 minutes of action. It's been end-to-end -end stuff. And Bichim would walk away with a point. 